We're back for science with our scale and an ETB of the newest Pokemon set, 151. This is actually the Pokemon Center ETB, which is like $105 right now. But we're gonna see if we can weigh the packs from this ETB to find the biggest hits. And if we're lucky, we could pull the Charizard. All right, let's go ahead and get this ETB open and then we will jump into weighing the packs. I'm the highest in the room. Yeah, she filled my mind up with ideas. It's lit. Straight up. Nah, it's in the room. Y'all are probably thinking to yourselves right now, like, why is he opening up the Pokemon Center edition of this box if he's just going to be weighing the packs? Like, wouldn't that be better to keep sealed? Yes, absolutely it would. But I'm totally out of freaking 151 products. We just did a live stream on it. I've been doing a ton of videos. But at least we do get the Pokemon Center Snorlax. So hopefully this thing is centered good. Y'all can... Y'all can have this code card right here. So as you can see, the difference is it has this little Pokemon Center stamp right here. And looking at the centering, that's actually a pretty good one. It's really hard to find the promo centered or even have a chance of getting the 10. So I probably will end up sending that one off. But what we're really here for is our packs and weighing them to see if we can do that. Uh, because this is the Pokemon Center ETB, we get 11 of the booster packs rather than the nine that will come in a regular one. I literally just did a video on this and y'all in the comments, section wanted to see a part two because we only did one etb and it's kind of hard to tell if you can really that's what we want to see 50g and 50 and it was hard to see if we could weigh this set just from one etb got our handy dandy sharpie and hopefully today we can find a more conclusive answer how it works again we just pop it on the scale 22.49 is the weight of this pack so we're going to write it on mu's head so we can see it a little bit easier and we'll put that off to the side now i'm going to speed through weighing the rest of these and we'll come back and i'll group them up and we'll open them all right here's the different groups i have them in order from lightest on the left until heaviest on the right so both of these in the very lightest category are going to be 0.37 so 22.37s up next we have one kind of outlier at 0.43 then uh i guess that 0.43 could probably go in this group but it was a little bit lighter these are all 0 0.45 0 0.45 0 0.45 and then 2.46s in the back then we get a little heavier with a 0.49 and then we have our two heaviest packs at 0.68 and 0.70 so we'll save those for the end we'll go from lightest to heaviest now in the comments people were bringing up a really good point that this set might not be weighable because of the shiny hollow energies and that definitely could be true i don't know why i didn't even think about that the first time i did this video but we got to a super super heavy pack and all that was inside was one of those shiny hollow energies so that could throw off the weight enough boom boom charizard ex off of our first pack and it's a light pack and we actually saw that happen in our first video as well so does that tell us that these ex cards with this like you know this type of ex card are should we be expecting those in the light pack or does that tell us that this set is just completely unweighable whatsoever i don't know we'll keep opening packs but that's why we're doing more packs anyways so we can get more of a basis from this because because maybe all of the hits like the EXs and stuff are gonna be coming out of the lighter packs but in that last video if y'all haven't seen the last video I will link it uh, in the description and at the end of this video so boom another one a Jinx EX again literally out of the two lightest packs in this entire box we get two EX cards and it's also solid to note that there were not shiny energies in either of those packs all right now we're taking a step up here to the 22.43 so it's going to be interesting to see if those shiny hollow energies are what make these packs heavier so as we get like you know over to the right side of the packs when they get heavier we might be seeing more of those hollow energies start coming out Volpix leftovers and a stormy so nothing in that pack that's actually super interesting with the ex cards i am starting to think that the lighter packs for some reason might have these ex cards but then again you got to think if if those hollow energies 
weigh the packs more and you've got an ex card in there with the hollow energy it's going to be pretty hard to find it's going to be hard to find any hits whatsoever if the hollow energies do make the packs heavier which is what we want to see that's actually a really good move by pokemon we do not want these packs to be weighable y'all and if you want like my reasoning for that y'all gotta go check out the last video it'll be in the description i'll put it up on the screen at the end of this video chancy ammonite in a hollow Mewtwo and again no shiny energy yet as we are still on these light packs we did end up getting a full art in that last video as well but it wasn't in like it wasn't in the heaviest pack uh, I think it was more towards the heavy side of things so we could be getting close to it here but it definitely wasn't in the lightest packs either so I don't know right now I'm thinking a hundred percent that you cannot weigh this set and it might be because of those holler hollow energies star me and a chancy about halfway through our box right now we have six packs left so we've opened up five packs it'll be interesting it's really it, it'll be really interesting because of, of as of right now if it weren't for the shiny hollow energies i feel like this set might be weighable because it does look like those ex cards are gonna be in the lighter packs and i think we saw a little bit of that in the early scarlet and violet era set slow bro and a vaporeon that is such a nice freaking art right there some of the man some of the arts in this set even on just the common cards and stuff just looks so good i'm in love with the aerodactyl one that's probably my favorite one out of all of them um and i do just want to say y'all i'm doing this experiment completely for y'all y'all were like super super supportive on our last video doing this y'all said you wanted this part two of it and i'm i'm happy to do it and i really do appreciate y'all's support on that video y'all liked it like crazy commented all that good stuff so really thank y'all moltres ekins and an Articuno. Okay, this is kind of getting interesting because we're going through a lot of our lighter packs. And we saw this in the last video as well, where it would probably be one of these two packs. I'm thinking this one is going to have a full art. That's what I'm really thinking, like a full art or an SIR or something. And then I'm thinking that the two heaviest packs are going to have those shiny hollow energies. But we'll have to see. So, I mean, that... that could possibly be bad if they do have the shiny hollow energies at the end because then it, it it could be weighable in that sense machoke and a gengar so i don't know it's not looking good y'all it's not looking good and you know what else ain't looking good these pull rates y'all this is a hundred dollar box and these are the two cards we have think about that i'm just telling y'all you also need to be careful with this set because the prices on singles are extremely low right now like they're really low we saw the charizard and obsidian flames drop at like 300 dollars, and obviously that fell a lot but to see this charizard in a set that's way more popular the pull rates are way worse um and to see this charizard only going for around a hundred dollars right now is is actually kind of mind-blowing so an ammonite so this the illustration rare could make it more heavy of a pack as this was close to the heavy side and bang daisies help just like that so i don't know i still don't think we have enough of a basis to say for sure but it does seem like that's two etbs now where a full art pack was close to the heavy side it was actually i think on both videos y'all can go check it out and let me know if i'm wrong but i think on both videos now it was the pack before this these heaviest ones so we got a 0.68 and a 0.70 i think we are going to see a shiny hollow energy come out of both of these packs so let's see let's see and shout out to y'all for real in the comments of the last video that brought light to that because i don't know why i just didn't even think about the shiny hollow energies like being a different weight or anything need arena gold duck reverse and articuno and will we see the shiny energy boom there it is shiny hollow energy right there so i think it's very safe to say well, we'll see. We'll see in this pack right here. But I think it's very safe to say that you can 100% wait for the shiny energies. And we are seeing patterns of full arts coming from... So it looks like you're going to have shiny hollow energies in the heaviest packs. You're going to have full arts in the packs right under the heaviest packs. And you're going to have your EX cards in the lightest packs. That's what it's looking like right now, like for sure, because we're that's we're seeing repetition on that. But let's see right here with this last pack. This should tell us 
some good solid information if there's a shiny hollow energy in here all that stuff is probably right and y'all if you haven't already please you know drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel i got some crazy content coming soon we're about to pick up on the budget series i promise just with 151 and everything it got so busy but i appreciate y'all watching all the videos all right we got a we got a weedle we got a wheezing we got it yep there it is there it is right there y'all shiny hollow energy that's not good. That's not good. Here are our hits from a $105 box. Man, 151 can just be rough. Don't get me wrong. We did get some very beautiful cards, but if you're opening just for the purpose of value, 151 is going to be rough for you. I think it's 100%. And y'all let me know. Do we need a part three on this? Y'all let me know. Or did we get enough information? I personally think that it's 100% safe to say that these are going to weigh the most you are always going to find your shiny hollow energies in those most heavy packs you are going to find your full art in the packs that weigh right under the shiny hollow energies don't have too much information on this right here because this came out of a pack with the full art so i don't know i don't know about this i we've seen these in the past sets not really be weighable they can come out of light packs they can come out of heavy packs so i don't know about the illustration rares and then the EXs look like they're going to be your lightest packs. So yes, this set is weighable. But one thing that's good is having these because somebody might see a heaviest pack and be like, oh, that's a shiny energy. I don't want to open that. And, and you could end up having like a like a full art or an EX in there with the energy that might change things up. Let me know your thoughts about this. Let me know if we need a part three. Any information y'all can share is greatly appreciated. And I, I really, I really do appreciate y'all watching. See y'all in the next video.